Excuse me, officer. How are you today? Doing well, how are you? Good. Just wondering if I could ask you a question for a quick second. How's it going, guys? I'm against the press, and we just rolled past a traffic stop, and we are in Antonito, Colorado. Uh, we're just going to take a look. What's going on? See, we got we got Antonito police vehicle number. Uh, no police vehicle number. So it's uh, plate BHL D46, Colorado. I'm out with watching the watchman today. He's across the street. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. What did you say the population was here in Antonito? About 800? 750 people population here in Antonito. So uh, real quick while we're waiting guys, just give you a quick time and temperature check. Today is Tuesday, July 28th. It's 11.40 a.m. And it is 68 degrees in sunny Antonito, Colorado. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of where you are when you're on the road. Even when he just said it six times in the past minute. There's the uh, local grocery store across the street, Hometown Foods Market. Excuse me, officer. How are you today? Doing well, how are you? Good. Just wondering if I could ask you a question for a quick second. I'm traveling with my son. First time we've ever been in Antonito. Oh, really? We're from uh, Denver area. Uh -huh. um, so just how have things been going? Yeah, I'm sorry, can you, you're Officer Campos? My name's Jason. This is my son, Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How have things been going here in Antonito with everything that's going on? Have you guys seen any uptick in crime? Are things about the same, normal, or? Pretty much the same. Yeah. Pretty much the same? Is there a lot of crime in this area, or is it a nice neighborhood to live in? Or I, like I said, we've never been here before. Oh, it's a nice neighborhood, it's a good place to live. It's, uh, there has its problems like any other place. Sure. Yeah. And did you? Were you born and raised here? Uh, I grew up in the center. Oh, okay. 
All right, cool. Well, very cool. We appreciate you taking a moment to speak with us. All right. And uh, hope you stay safe. And, uh, you know, what we do is just so you know what we're doing. There's, as you're aware, there's a big divide in this country right now between law enforcement and the public. So what we're out, we're out trying to open up dialogue and communication with officers and try to bridge that gap um, and get the word out that there are some good officers out there and there are some people that do deserve respect. Um, you know, there are some bad officers and we sometimes run into them, but you're obviously come across as one of the good guys and we thank you for that, we appreciate that. So we try to keep it positive and we try to, you know, we're trying to find solutions to the problems that are going on, not try to create any problems. Yeah. Uh, so if there's anything that you want to add, I'd love to give you that opportunity. Uh, probably not right now. No, okay, no, I appreciate you. Sure. All right, well, thank you very much. I'd shake your hand, but I'm sure you can't do that. Maybe do a little elbow bump there. All right, All right thank you, sir, we okay, appreciate you. Have time. a wonderful day. All right, well, all right guys. Um, Officer Campos was a nice enough gentleman, uh, didn't give us any problem about filming, and uh, was happy to speak to us for a moment. I'm sure he's a little limited on what he can say to us, obviously, uh, but took a moment, spoke to us, was very uh, professional and cordial, and uh, we like to bring that stuff to you too. Um, it's not all about finding tyrants. Uh, we also enjoy finding the good police, and uh, you know, maybe we sparked a little thought in Officer Campos's head today, and I'm certainly going to think about what's going on here and the experience we had here in Antonito. Um, some of the folks that live here that are walking by and riding their bicycles by obviously look like they're a little concerned because uh, this is probably one of those towns where everybody knows everybody and we stand out like a sore thumb here. Um, but, you know, this is what we do when we're out here uh, trying to bring this stuff to you guys. So we hope you appreciate it. Hope you like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we hope you're having a good day and uh, maybe pick up your cameras and get out there and responsibly film what's going on and record what's happening in this world. Um, so that's going to wrap it up for now. So coming to you from Antonito, Colorado with Watching a Watchman, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out. I'm just leaving it on in case anything goes down on the way back to the car. <laughs>